Hello, you beautiful strangers. <laughs> it's been a while since I published anything. I kind of kind of got off the internet for a little while. It's too much screen time, too much keeping up with crap, and just took a break, especially after that last project I did. I did the, uh, the uh, CNC cart for the Onefinity cart for a friend of mine, and that, that was a lot, a lot of computer time. Uh, so kind of took a break, but we got a lot of stuff going on right now, a few things going on. So I'll spin you around and I'll show you. So these are the, uh, these are the tabletops or the countertops tops for the outdoor kitchen area. This is the farm tabletop. I purchased FAS maple. So pretty darn good, beautiful, straight maple with very few defects. As a matter of fact, I have two down there that I ended up putting uh, some inlays on top of. So it kind of kind of hides it and makes it something to, you know, a conversation piece, I guess. This one is finished, ready to go. Uh, this is this one's for the farm tabletop, and then this one is for the uh, kitchen island. And I've got the sink mounted, electrical done, water heater installed, and I'm just kind of dragging my feet on the rest of it, like always, because this wind, this weather is 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 not. There's the island right there. The weather is not, uh, it's not encouraging for me to get this done, right? So I'm gonna wait till it probably uh, gets a little bit warmer. Once it's a little bit warmer, I'll be super excited to get it done and knock the rest of it out. Uh, so yeah, that was, whew, that was a lot of work. And man, all those things heavy to move around. Uh, there's that, I'm, I don't know if I mentioned, I got a pool table. Uh, this is a old bar box, an old Valley clone. I don't know what brand it is, uh, but it is a one piece slate top. The rails are ab ab absolutely trash, but I got it because I'm walking closer. Like you can see it. I, I, I got it because, um, a friend of mine was going to, uh, I'm sorry, a friend of a friend of mine was going to throw it away. He was moving and he was going to take a sludge hammer to it to break it up to get it out of his house to get it to the road to go to the landfill and I said no 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 don't 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 throw it away I'll I'll take it I mean I don't really have a need or a place for it wait a minute there is the brand it's a Murray there you go um, man I've got ADD or something uh, oh yeah I said don't throw it away uh, because I will take it and I'll, I guess, throw it in my shop. I didn't, I, I didn't plan on having a pool table in here, but I don't want to see that go to landfill. So my options for this are to recover it, replace the rails, and just use it. I mean, that's always an option. But I'm thinking to maybe use this for dimensions, take all of my interior rail dimensions, all that good stuff, throw it in the SketchUp, and build some type of unique base bar box table so i don't know if i'll ever get around to this i don't know if i will end up giving it away to somebody else just to get it out of my way but i, I just couldn't see this thing going to the landfill uh, so i got a pool table and as of right now it's just a table <laughs> it's a table holding a tabletop uh, working on and making a video right now for a giant bandsaw box my daughter uh made a well we came out to the shop and we made mommy's car a little toy car and then she wanted to make daddy's truck so we made both of those well this is going to be a bandsaw box camper for her dolls if i don't screw it up <laughs> uh, she doesn't know about it so that's gonna be a fun little surprise but i'm recording this so i've got uh well, i'm not recording right now but that's what i see when i'm recording I've got this going on. Um, I'm working on redesigning this vertical table here on the CNC machine just to consolidate all of the options and make it a little bit more fast to set up and tear down as far as putting pieces on. Uh, I made this thing with lots and lots of capacity, mainly for you know batch operations, right? There was a vertical row of dogs, vertical row of dogs, and a vertical row of dogs. And my thinking was you could put two pieces here, two pieces here, two pieces here, cut six all at once, and you'd be knocking out pieces like like the, the day after Taco Tuesday. <laughs> but in reality, I mean, the, the, 
the time it takes to set each individual one up, you're not saving any time. So you only just, I only just use one row, one vertical column of dogs. So I'm thinking about making an accessory vertical table that I could put on top of it where I don't have to completely remount and tear all this down. It works great, but I, th I just want to make it a little bit faster. I don't know if I ever showed this thing. It's been in a lot of my videos. This is just a box joint tray that, oops, slides across the top here. Just a little catch-all for the wrenches and whatnot. Um, and I only have that because I didn't make the table go all the way to the front. That's another thing I've been also thinking about is tearing this table down completely. Tearing the machine down give me an opportunity to do maintenance on all of the components, but shifting these horizontal rails forward by three and a half inches, because as it is right now, the center of the spindle is about an inch and a half in front of this rail right here so two layers of mdf takes up that inch and a half and then all i need to do is increase it by the capacity of what i want to cut well uh, a four by four post i'll use that as the maximum capacity here so i think about i'm thinking about shifting these rails three and a half inches forward and then that'll give me maximum use of the horizontal table because I can start right here and work my way back and then move the vertical table to the front. It'd be a lot of work with minimal, um, minimal gain in function, but eventually I'm going to do it. So might as well uh, get it done sooner rather than later. I don't know if you can hear, but our neighbor's dog is barking like crazy. Must see a neighborhood cat or something like that. But that's... That's what I've got going on. Figured I'd at least jump out on here and say that I'm still alive. <laughs> you guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you whenever.